Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome back to Simple Uniqua. Today I have an exciting video. I'm so excited that I am making this video today and I am so excited for you guys to see this video today. So today I have a book review for you guys and it's an awesome book that I need you guys to read, okay? And I'll tell you more in a minute, but I need you guys to read. And of course, like always, I always leave the author's information of where you can find the book and information about the author down in the description box. So please go ahead, click that link and uh, check her out and I, I will tell you more about the author and about the book in just a few minutes but I'm so excited I just rambling with words and I'm just I'm just excited y'all don't forget to also subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video so let's keep the excitement going and let's go ahead and get started with this video <laughs> So this week's book review is going to be over an author and a book that I haven't known before. So this is new experience for me for the author and the book series. So the author, her name is Danielle Rose. Like that's just a so pretty name and it's such a cool author name. And her book that she's coming out today, February 18th, and it's it's called Dark Secret and it's the Dark Haven Saga. And it's the first book in the Dark Haven Saga and it's going be five books like I did some digging the next book is coming out in March the third book is coming in April so like these books are ready to go and I'm excited to read them so let me dose you in what this book world is so like I said the first book that Danielle Rose did for the Dark Haven Sega is called Dark Secret this book is about a 17 year old girl named Eva Lopez and Ava is a witch, a spirit witch to be exact. And I'll go, there's different types of witches, and I'll go just a little bit in detail about the different witches so you can have like a mindset of the witches. But I want you to understand the world that Daniela Rose uh, wanted to you guys to know. Ava is a spirit witch and she protects her coven, uh, her witches, her other witchy friends, and her family, her witches. And she protects the humans, the humans, she protects the humans from vampires. Oh my gosh mine is blown and she and she has a reputation in her coven that she's a novence uh or like just very um new and childlike with her powers that they don't believe her to a t of what she says and what she feels that's that there's wrongs there's coming and all that stuff so she already doesn't have the best reputation with her rest of her witch crew but then um Let's say something happened, like detrimental, like something happened, and she had to transform into something else, transform into a new being um, that she had to overcome and learn new ways of living. I should say without really being going into like spoiler alert uh, zone, and um, that's what kind of like the about the book that she had to that she was a witch and she always has been a witch and like the book jumps right into her life and we like catching up to where she at today and what she is today and we are so attached to what her life is and what is coming next in the book so she eventually has to learn her new ways of living the new living uh, that she had to overcome kind of slapped her in the face and then she sees a new light in the world that she has been just strictly upon with witches but she had to overcome and see a new light in of living so that's kind of like basically what it's about I know it's very vague but it's definitely basically what it's about so like I said I was going to go over the different witches so you have like a mindset of what it is so there's five witches so there's earth water fire air and then there's a spirit witch so a fire witch is more of a masculine element these witches are 
passionate and creative and harness a fierce temperament. So fire witches can ignite fire to protect themselves. The other masculine element is air witches. Air witches are wise and intelligent and, they, and these witches are more rational and their power comes from the air, the wind and all of that and I'm pretty sure air witches can fly. The feminine element of the witches are water. These witches are mysterious and intuitive beings who can control water like, you know, it's nothing. So their power are water and they can manipulate water like you don't know what. So like, you know, think of Avatar Airbender, you know, you got those those kind of elements and each uh, earth or air person can uh, manipulate that type of element. This is what the witches are. And then the next feminine element is earth. And these witches desire stability, practicality, and a materialism. And then there are spirit witches, which Ava is. And spirit witches are more of the psychic, uh, psyche mind uh, witches. The spirit witches are more mental. Their power is more mental. And they're known to be like psychic and to um, know what's coming and have that feeling of what's coming before something actually comes. But the spirit witches also can have a little spark of each element as well. That's the difference of the spirit witch. The spirit witch is does with mental and the psychic abilities, but they can um, inflict uh, a little bit of magic of, uh, of the other elements of earth, water, fire, and air. Those are like the five different types of witches that is represented in this book. So I hope that kind of gives you a little grasp of what this book is about um, and not really go into spoiler alert zone. I'm trying not to, but also trying to get you intrigued with this book because I am loving this book. And I really hope that you read this section that I wrote, that the about me section that the author wrote. That's also what gets me here. And I fell in love with that part before I even touch a page of the book. So like I said, there's vampires and witches in this book. So if you uh, still on the fence about this book think about Divergent that Divergent series think about Hunger Games the Hunger Games series think about um, the TV show Charmed the old Charmed the new Charmed think of that TV show Charmed with the witches because there's a little bit of some spells as well and also think about Twilight so if you combine Hunger Games and Divergent with Charmed and Twilight and you combine all those four together you get this book I feel and it's just so good like it's just a lovely good mix I ha actually have the physical copy of this book and I have to say like I have to give props to the front cover of this book it's so so cool and it's very intriguing like this star symbol like what and it's on fire and it says dark secrets and I just needed to know more and when I flipped it over into the back to wrap me page I was hooked and I just the book is so smooth and it's just so good this book is a very easy read. Um, it's only 171 pages, 15 chapters, but it's a 171 pages and 15 chapters of amazing, beautiful, lovely pages of story in this book. I'm not lying at all. Like I was soon hooked and attached to Ava and I needed to know what was going on in her life and you know what was next. I, I couldn't put this book down at all. Even though yes it might be a smaller shorter book but <laughs> this is so so good. It's like a young adult paranormal type of book and I am just loving it. It has that sci-fi in it and just there I was hooked. I always liked the sci-fi books besides romance novels that I always kind of read. I always like that sci-fi element in books as well. If you like Divergent, if you like Hunger Games, and if by chance you have read the Bone Season series like that yeah, this is this is just as good you're gonna love this book I'm telling you you're gonna love this book and like right now I just finished reading this book and I am ready for this next book to come out in March like I need it right now if I could actually get the book right this second I would and I would want to get the next book and regardless I'm gonna get all five books because I need to know what happened to Ava what happened to their story and especially what is build it build up 
up in the end of the story like I need to know what's going on and like <clears throat> once you have read it and you this will make more sense but my assumptions of what Ava is think of like you know Katniss was Katniss Everdeen was just like you know body girl but like she was the you know the person that turned the tables and you have Triss she was like the nobody girl but she was the person that turned the tables and she was like the main holy holy girl you know that's what I feel like Ava is and she's gonna turn the tables this book and people are just gonna be like what the freak is going on I want to say thank you to Daniela Rose to even thinking about thinking up this book and actually writing this book because I am in love I am a uh, attach to the storyline and I need to know every single book I wish I had all the books right now so I can read them all like I need this book it's like I'm I'm, I'm an addict and I need this book now okay now so like I said this book comes out today February 18th and I advise you guys to go ahead and pick up this book anywhere possible as you can the physical copy like I have or the a digital copy ebook like get it and read it and you're gonna see all what I'm talking about and you're gonna love it just as much as I have and the last little bit thing I want to say that Daniela Rose and some producers in the world need to make this book dark secret and this whole dark haven Sega series needs to be in a movie like um yes it needs to be a movie like now like I can see every single word on this page that Daniela Rose put on this page for me to see but I want to see it on the big screen and I want to give this book appreciation of what it is because it's so so good and like I want to be Ava in this story like I I am Ava and I can see being Ava so much and I just want to have that sass and that spice and be Ava in the story if like the grace of gods if I, they even allowed that uh, a nobody like me to be an actress of an awesome book that would be so awesome but I know that's like far-fetched but I love the story I love Ava and I love to be her in the story I can see myself being her in the story and if just I just wish this eventually becomes a, a book that will be on the big screen and so everyone who doesn't um, have a love of reading can um, cherish this book just as much as I have and to know this book just as much as I have and I hope I haven't left anything out of this book review um, I totally can go in spoiler zone if I wanted to but I'm not going to do that because it's not fair for people who hasn't picked this book up yet especially since it just now came out today so I am happy you guys clicked on this video and I'm happy that you made it this far in this video I recommend you guys to read Dark Secret and be in love with this book as much as I have and learn Ava's story and learn um, what her story is going to become so like I said I hope you guys uh, love this video and go pick up this book and thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you guys make it to this in this video and click on this video to learn more about this book and to hear what I have to say about this book I thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you back next week with something else and catch you back soon with another awesome book review bye